The community is still mourning the loss of former Scranton Mayor Jim McNulty. Dave Yonkai from the Lulock Political Letter joins us today as we talk about the life and career of Jim McNulty. David, thanks for being here. Very happy to be here. So uh, Mayor McNulty served in the early 80s. He had one term as mayor. What is he going to be remembered for the most uh, in the Electric City? I think you have to take a look at the Radisson Complex, that beautiful hotel where he held many of his events, and also Steamtown. He brought Steamtown into being in Lackawanna County. And I think the seeds for the Scranton that you see today were planted by Jim McNulty. Now, he only served as one term as mayor, but I understand uh, after that, he made quite a mark in politics and in the media. Tell us what happened. Well, he was actually a political consultant, so there were many political candidates, state senatorial candidates, congressional candidates, who benefited from Jim McNulty running his running their campaigns. He was a campaign manager before he was mayor and after he was mayor. Then he also had a radio program on WARM and it, he was called the mayor of Warmland. Then he had a show on WYOU TV Sunday mornings. He was also involved with the interactive program uh, back in the day when you were on the interactive program. Yes, I was program. here with him for both of those iterations. Exactly, right. And uh, I had the opportunity to serve with him as a panelist on the interactive program. So he had a really good career after his run as mayor of Scranton. You know, I, I did work with Jim a couple of times here at the station many years ago, and I did an event uh, not long ago, about two years ago, and uh, I have an answer for your next talking point here, David. Uh, I will say that what you saw of Jim in person was very much what you saw on television or in front of an audience. Do you agree with that? I agree. What you saw was what you got. In private and in public, he was the same guy. Absolutely. Same guy. Yeah, I mean, whether it be at an event, uh, we did a thing mm. called Seniors Got Talent. And yeah. I, I was there with uh, Mayor McNulty and his wife was the master of ceremonies. And uh, they, they were such a fun couple to be around mm -hmm. in, in kind of a setting that was not where you'd normally expect them to be. His big thing was, he always said to me, people want to be validated. People don't want a lot, but they want to be recognized and they want to be validated. Now, what about your last conversation with Mayor McNulty? What did you discuss with him? Well, I came to the McNulty party pretty late because I knew him when I was in broadcast sales. And um, the last conversation I had with him had to do with um, the presidential politics. When Joe Biden was deciding whether to run or not for president, uh, I had this very, I used to have long conversations with Jim McNulty. When you had a conversation with Jim McNulty, a phone conversation, you had to make sure you were prepared. You had to have, you had to make sure you had water. You had to make sure you had a snack because our phone conversations lasted two and a half hours. That last conversation was when Biden was deciding whether to run or not. And he said to me, Dave, he says, you know what would be great? Joe Biden is the favorite son of Scranton. Hillary Clinton is the favorite daughter of Scranton. Wouldn't it be great if we could bring Bring both of them into Scranton. Now, when Jim said we, he meant him, not me, right? And he always, it struck me that even when he was ill, politics was something that he was thinking about, but he always put Scranton as the number one priority in his life. It was, it was Scranton and then politics, and of course his family first, but he always was ready to put Scranton in the forefront, and that's that, that's a conversation that I will remember for the rest of my life. Scranton number one. Fascinating man, and he's going to have a legacy that's going to live on for quite some time. David, for our viewers who want to find out more about your political letter, where can they find it online? Lulacpoliticalletter.blogspot.com. I have a St. Patrick's Day tie. I figured Mary McNulty would be very annoyed with me if I didn't promote the Irish parades coming up in uh, Scranton and also in Pittston tomorrow. Absolutely, and he was in the parade last year. I remember we interviewed him during the broadcast <laughs> for Mary They Michael. made him the Grand Marshal, and he was thrilled. All right, and we're going to have you back on Wednesday because we've got a lot more to talk about in the political world, uh, a lot with Donald Trump going on these days. So, David, uh, we'll talk Trump next week. Very happy to be here. Thank you, Dave. Thank you so much.